Hello, in this video I'm going to be covering all the budget laptops that are on sale at Costco in their holiday savings booklet that are $600 or below. And this booklet goes from November 1 to December 2, but the laptops that are on sale will vary depending on the laptop. So if you're interested in one of these laptops, make sure you, you know, check what time that it's on sale. So on this page, the laptops will be on sale from November 1 to the 17th. And I will be covering this HP Pavilion for $599.99 and this HP 14 inch for $349.99. On this page, the laptops will be on sale from November 18th to December 2, and I will be covering this HP Pavilion for $549.99, this Dell Inspiron for $549.99. I won't be covering this Acer Chromebook for $199.99 because it's not a Windows laptop. I will be covering this HP 17 inch for $449.99 and I'll be covering this Acer Swift Go for $599.99. On this page, the laptops will be on sale from November 29th to December 2, and I will be covering this Dell Inspiron for $599.99, and this HP 17 inch for $599.99. And I think that's all the ones that I'll be covering. Yeah, that's all that I'll be covering. At the $350 price, there's one laptop on sale, the HP 14 inch. It has a 14 inch display, 12 gigabytes memory, and 512 gigabytes SSD. It has the Intel Core 3 100U CPU. It has a full high def 1920 by 1080 display. And it has Wi-Fi 6. So Wi-Fi 7 is out now, but Wi-Fi 6 is still very common. So I did a comparison of the laptop's Core 3 100U to Intel's Core i3 1315U CPU 13th generation and they're almost identical in performance. The, the new Core 3 100U is a little bit better in overall performance, 48 to 46 according to this website. And the integrated GPU is a tie at 1.28 teraflops and they are both using the Intel UHD graphics. So in the past you've been able to get a core i3 with 8 gigabytes memory and 256 gigabytes SSD for 300 and that was a pretty good sales price. So this one is more at 350 but you're getting 12 gigabytes memory and 512 gigabytes SSD. So I would say for the configuration you're getting here it's a pretty good sales price. At the $450 price, there's one laptop on sale, the HP 17 inch. It has a 17.3 inch touchscreen, 16 gigabytes memory, and one terabyte SSD. It has the AMD Ryzen 5 7530U. Now on the CPU, the architecture 
um, is a three and the four architecture is out now but three would still be pretty common on a laptop at this price point it has a high def but not full high def display so keep that in mind if you want full high def you know this is only high def it has a full size keyboard and it has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3 so Wi-Fi 6 is still very common although Wi-Fi 7 is available now so at this um, configuration I'd say this is a pretty good sell price at the $550 price we have two laptops the HP Pavilion and the Dell Inspiron and they're very similar in configurations the HP has a 16 inch touchscreen, 16 gigabytes memory, 1 terabyte SSD. Where the Dell has 15.6 inch touchscreen, 16 gigabytes memory, 1 terabyte SSD. On the display, the HP has 1920 by 1200, and the Dell has full high def 1920 by 1080 so the HP's a little bit higher resolution but they're both full high def and then they both have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.3 so they're tied on on that so now we gotta look at the CPU the, the, H, the HP Pavilion has the Intel Core 5 120U and the, the Dell has a 13th gen Core i7 1355U so I did a comparison and they're very similar the overall the newer Core 5 is a little bit better 54 to 53 but they're very close but on the integrated graphics the iGPU the 13th gen is 25% better, 2 teraflops compared to 1.6 teraflops. So if I was choosing between the two on sale for 550, I'd go for the HP Pavilion because it has a little bit better display and it has uh, the newer Intel Core 5 processor, although it's not as good on the integrated graphics it's slightly better overall so if I were to pick between the two it'd be a tough call but I'd go for the HP Pavilion at the $600 price we have four laptops that are on sale the HP Pavilion the Acer Swift Go the Dell Inspiron and the HP 17 inch. Now the Dell Inspiron and the HP both use the Intel Core 7 150U. These have the same CPU Core 7 150U. So I compared the Core Ultra 7 155, which is used on the Acer Swift Go, to the Core 7 150U, which is used on the Dell and the HP, and not surprisingly, the Core Ultra 7 155H is better. It has 72 score compared to 68 on this comparison website. It also has better integrated GPU performance. So I would not consider the Dell Inspiron or the HP. So I'm not considering those. So the, the choice would be between the HP Pavilion and the Acer Swift Go. So I did a comparison between the, the two 
CPUs, the um, Core Ultra 7 155H used on the Acer Swift Go, and I compared that to the AMD Ryzen 7 8840U. And just note that this is a four in the architecture spot, so that means that's the best architecture that's currently available, so that's good. That means it's the, uh, one of the higher end Ryzen CPUs. I did a comparison of those two CPUs on this website. And overall, the Ryzen 7 is just slightly better, 62 to 61. But that's so close, I don't think that really makes much difference. So what I did is I looked at the integrated GPU performance and the Core Ultra 7155H is plus 11% better. So I think that's you know not a lot, but it's, it's significant. 4.61 teraflops compared to 4.15 teraflops. So in my opinion, if I were to choose between the HP Pavilion 16 inch and the Acer Swift Go 14 inch, I would be interested in getting the Acer Swift Go because I think the CPU is a little bit better. In conclusion, these are the four laptops that I think are the best in each of the price categories. This is the HP 14 inch in the $350 category. This is the HP 17 inch in the $450 category. This is the HP Pavilion 16 inch in the $550 category. And this is the Acer Swiftgo 14 inch in the $600 category. Now, if it were me, I would try to stay at the $450 level or below. Um, I would probably go for this uh, $450 category if it had the you know, features that met my needs. If there's something that this doesn't have that meets your needs, for example, this is high def, not full high def. So for example, if you want a full high def, you might want to step up to this one at 550, which has full high high def. And it has a faster CPU too. The same with the Acer Swift Go. If there's something that you needed, for example, this one has Wi-Fi 7. So if you needed that, you might want to step up. But if it were me, I'd try to stay at the 450 price level or below even if I could get by with the features of this one. So it all depends on the different features that you need.